the line, Daniel Manella makes a pair of early saves to keep this game scoreless. At the other end, Brock Welsh denied by the stabbing glove hand of Dalton Ewing. Fury get the first goal of the game. Ewing thinks he has the puck covered. You can hear the whistle go, but by that time, the puck is already in the back of the net. Newmarket not fans of this call, but despite their protests, they trail this game 1-0. Zach Fisher is third of the season. Fury find themselves down a pair of men on the 5-on-3. Adam Smith rips a shot from the point that will tie the game up at one apiece. Two and a half minutes later, Whippy down two men again. Manella comes up with a save. Brock Welsh, a shot block, followed by another shot block, but none of bodies on the ice to deal with Steve Mariani. He gives the Newmarket Hurricanes their first lead of the game. Into the second period, Max Rutledge working behind the goal, and he is just dropped by Greg Allen. But more special teams woes for the Fury on a power play now. Nick Cork has the puck taken away by Alex Lorello. Newmarket 2-on-1 the other way. Marco Bozzo beelines for the goal where he converts the pass past Manella. Shorthand goal, 3-1 Hurricanes. Same power play, Ryan Taylor snagged by Ewing. Third period, Jonathan O'Hara will be stopped in front of the goal. Fisher gets the puck off the end boards for Luke Keenan. He scoops a backhand home his 16th of the season to cut the lead to 3-2. You know, Korak had the giveaway earlier in the game. He wants to make amends. Does he ever? Uses the screen to perfection. Beats Ewing to tie the game with just under five minutes to go. Keenan muscles the puck away here. Sets up Fisher who can find space behind Ewing to win it in regulation. But nothing there. So off to overtime we go. Mark Rosanoff's rising shot's going to miss the top of the net. The puck comes right out to Brock Welsh. He speeds up the ice the other way. Two on one with Corrick. Picture perfect pass, just beats the defender. 4 to 3 for the Fury in overtime. A happy ending to the night. Cork, two goals and assist on this one. Zach Fisher also with three points. And Daniel Manella, very strong in goal in the win for the Whitby Fury. See, discipline is uh, key for us, and uh, sometimes we get a little too out of hand and we take a bunch of penalties. But uh, luckily, they only scored a couple, which was surprising because they had, a, what, four or five, five on threes. But uh, our PK did a good job for the most part. And uh, the third period, we were just shut it down, only took one penalty, and uh, we were able to battle back and get it in overtime. We did really want the two points just because we're trying to we're trying to catch them. But uh, yeah, I just I got on the ice and uh, luckily uh, their guy shot it over the net. It came all the way around. Their D was in deep and we got a two on one. So, uh, but yeah, the couple shifts before it was kind of just running gun back and forth and a couple chances here and there. But that was our best chance and luckily we buried it. Well, she passed it across. It went off the defense skates, like both skates, and then it came. To, it was me in front, and I just poked it with one hand. And then the goalie got in his glove, and like he went shoulder over his shoulder into his own net. That's what I took from it. It was a weird play. Probably wouldn't happen again, but I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> <laughs>